Hello everybody, this is Saber Wolf from another uh, build video for today. Before I get to that, I want to do a quick shout out to Forbidden Bloodlust. Uh, if you remember back when my account was hacked, I was still trying to rebuild it. Uh, he gave me a big uh, donation in game uh, to help with that cause, so thank you so much for that, sir. Now, I'm going back to the build now. Um, this is a Ranger Paragon build. I call this, this is a PvE only build, so it's not going to work in PvP at all. Um, it is my arranged pack hunter uh, build. And here's uh, some of the stats first before we get to the skills. Uh, I'm running a 14 in a Beast Mastery. That is a uh, plus one mask of Beast Mastery with a plus one rune on top of that. I'm also running uh, nine in expertise. That's uh, eight in expertise plus one on the ex uh, expertise in my uh, gloves. And I'm also running a uh, 10 in spear mastery since this is actually using a spear uh, with a spell. Um, also, note that I am using a shield. It actually this shield doesn't really matter. I'm using a tactic shield because the adamantine shield is a really easy shield. Um, that you can get from a collector in Nightfall. You just need five Marganite mask, and it's already like a maxed out 16 armor, rec 9 a tactics, because tactics is a basic uh, attribute for a warrior that any any profession can get to if you wanted to. You get the full like, 16 armor for it. But if you remember from my past running builds, you still get 8 armor out of this. This shield also has the minus 5 on a 20% chance and a plus 30 HP. So it's a very nice shield to get if you're a Nightfall. Again, only need 5 Merganite Mass to get it. It's a great shield if you want something cheap, and it actually looks fairly nice too. Now going back to the uh, attributes real quick, um, you do have 9 and Expertise. Now if I remember correctly from my Ranger video that Expertise does affect the cost of attack skills. This also includes Paragon Spear skills and uh, and also the uh, Never Rampage is one. It also includes that because it is basically a Ranger skill. So with that, let's go over the skills now. We have uh, Spear of Lightning and Vicious Attack. Now these are two basic Spear Attacks I had to fill on the bar. It does a plus 15 and a plus 16 damage. Um, Spear of Lightning actually gives you a slight armor penetration. It does a little bit more than that. Um, these are two basic attack skills just to move along as you attack the uh, target. Um, never Rampage alone. Uh, you hit this just before you actually go into battle. Uh, this will allow you and your pet to attack 25% faster and gives you and your pet a plus two a health regeneration. So it gives you a little bit of healing. It's nothing major though. Um, this of course, um, the plus two health regeneration is because I do I am rank uh, seven Sun Spear, which is your basic rank for Sun Spear if you haven't really done much in uh, Nightfall. I'm also um, Comfort Animal. This brings out your pet because of the uh, recent buff to that skill a while back. Um, so that skill brings your pet out and reses your pet. So this is the only skill you need now. You don't need Charm Animal anymore. Um, for res, I love uh, Sunsby Rebirth Signet because not only does it res your uh, ally at full health, um, it also gives your ally plus 10, uh, it gives you 10% of their energy for each rank you have. Since your basic uh, Sun Spear rank is normally around 7, you actually get 70% of energy back, which is quite a bit of energy for a res uh, skill. And it's actually more than a uh, Resurrection Signet. Not only that, but this redoes rebirth effects, so you can actually um, teleport the body that you're resing to your location. Um, so it works just like rebirth to get out of the aggro range in case your party wiped or something. Now the three major skills that are actually making this build happen is Enraging, Enraged Lunge, uh, Spear of Fury, and Scavenger Strike. Uh, these are basically the spike skills on the build, so to speak. Uh, Rage Lunge for PvE only. Um, this not only does it inflict a deep wound, but it also gives you a plus 47 damage. That is a huge attack, and it can do over 120 damage sometimes. So it's a huge attack for your pet to use. Um, also with that, I have Spear of Fury, which does a plus 37 damage from a spear attack, which is a lot of damage for a spear. Also does a one second quote unquote casting time. So with your 25% faster um, attack speed, it'll actually ca actually run this in about three quarters of a second, so actually you'll actually throw even faster than usual. And last but not least, we got Scavenger Strike. Now because you're doing Deep Wound from your Rage Lunge, uh, Scavenger Strike is actually going to do the plus 24 damage and give you a gain of 14 energy because it meets the requirement of condition from the Deep Wound of the Rage Lunge. Now because we're, again, using the expertise from the Ranger to lower the cost of our attack skills,
um, you're actually going to basically replenish your whole entire bar. So you're going to go through your entire attack chain, everything is going to recharge in a decent amount of time, and you're going to have a full energy bar to continue, attack, continue on your way to attack other targets. Uh, so to demonstrate this build in action, we're going to use the adjacent to the master of damage just to show that it can kill fairly quickly. Uh, we're going to run through the chain of um, Spear of Lightning and Vicious Attack while our pets are running up to the target. And make sure when you use pet skills, I can't stress this enough for everybody, but when you use a pet skill, pet skills don't stack. You can actually hit one skill and then the other skill and, together, but you won't get the effect together. You will actually cancel the previous action out. So if I hit Raging Lunge and then if I hit Scavenger Strike before my pet attack the target, only scavenger strike will go. Range lunge will like be like it never happened. I just wasted three energy for no reason. So make sure you watch your pet actually hit the target before you go on to your next um, animal attack or pet attack skill. Uh, because it does a deep wound, you will actually see the effect on the uh, enemy's red bar. You actually see the gray um, bar come up, so you know the actual attack hit. So just make sure you watch for your pet's damage for the numbers above it when you see it hit before you use your other attack attack skills. All right, so we're going to take the uh, adjacent to the uh, master damage again. Before you go into battle, just hit your never rampage alone. This will increase your attack speed. And away we go. Again, raging attack before he hits. And I'm going to hit the last two skills for a quick spike. As you see, with these three skills of enraged lunge and spear of fury and uh, scavenger strike, that target went half the bar, over half the bar just disappeared in that matter of seconds. So this is going to be a great build for you to use in uh, PvE if you'd like. Um, again, the reason why I'm using this build now is because of the, all the uh, debuffs to the bow, bow attacks lately. So to try this build out if you're having problems doing damage on a ranger, right? Uh, this is Saber Wolf. I hope you enjoy this build and I will talk to you later. Thank you and have a great day.